What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Episode 6 and today we're going to head to Palavin to rescue a Tyrion Primarch as we got told to do four episodes ago. Last episode we went to a Cerberus lab and we explored the game mechanics of exploring the galaxy so if you do want to see that as well as uh, my new weapon loadout go check it out although I'll be giving you an update in the, this episode as well. So. Try not to babble, and let's head straight to Mass Relay. We're currently in the Hades Nexus system, where I think we did um, Project Phoenix as well, which was an additional mission given from... What is it? Big Sandbag Galaxy Mod, sorry. Just struggling to speak a little bit. Just woke up to an extent. Um, right, AP and Chris, Rescue Tyrion Primarch. So let's fast travel here. And I believe in this system, you can scan whatever you like, but because it's a priority mission, you don't get Reaper alerts within the system. When you look at Palawan, so the only thing on this planet that isn't silver are Tyrians. It's all too clear they're made of steel. These reliance here as John Grissom's impressions of the Tyrion homeworld Palawan, seen by humans for the first time following the First Contact War. The Tyrion's martial attitude permeates every aspect of Palawan society, from architecture to art to politics. It's no surprise that their homeworld was never occupied by an invading force until now. The Reapers, aware of their enemy's reputation, brought overwhelming force to Palawan and did not hesitate to bombard cities that resisted, and all of them resisted, well, of course. The dust and smoke from Palawan cities is now breathing hazard, breathing hazard sorry, across much of the planet. Walton power supplies have all but vanished, still the fight here has cost the Reapers dearly. Palawan's weak medical field means solar radiation levels are greater than those found in other habitable worlds. Human visitors advised to wear in virus suits or other radiation protection while it's visiting Palawan. Okay. But we're supposed to go to this Mene, which is the largest Palawan's moon. Uh, before we do that, however, let's actually explore the systems that we have here, because I'm pretty confident that there are actually some resources here. Take Holy shit, that is a big-ass sun. We've found 800 units of fuel. We've found Ferios, which is an asteroid told near the Glass Blue Giant. Oh, we just told here to serve as a military base. That's actually a cool idea. So let's see what's on here. Hopefully some war assets we can utilize. Let's see. As the achievement lost and found 6 out of 10, so that would imply there is a war asset. Yep, Tyrion 79 Fertilla. That's good to hear. And then I presume more fuel and quite a bit of fuel. 750 units of fuel. Okay. Let's head to the Castellus or Castellus, uh, depending on what language you want to pronounce it in. Let's see what's here. I found something. All right. Let's take a look. More fuel, probably. Yep. If it's not on a planet, it's most likely fuel. This is a planet, though. Diggeris, a hospital world come to Dexter based afterlife. This Tyrion colony was famous until recently for being the site of the bloodiest battle in Tyrion history. During the Krogan Rebellion's warlord named Gregor Dark took the fight to Palawan's home class to bombarding their mother's to defend the Diggeris. When reinforcements came to intercept the Dallas Navy, put their rear to Diggeris so that stray shots would hit the planet. The Tyrions won despite the severe handicap using countless fighters and cruisers to take down the Krogan dead rots. Yeah, the Tyrion, the Krogan uprisings were also another battle that humans didn't even see. Uh, and it would be actually incredibly cool if one day um, from Bioware um, or from EA or from anyone who's involved in the project could actually sort of describe it in more than just lore. There's a few comics and books, but none of them. Banner of the First Regiment. Interesting. I think that's a Citadel mission. Someone probably wants that on the Citadel. It will be cool to see, because the, the Mass Effect history, or the, the history of the universe within the Mass Effect series is actually quite rich, even before the humans enter the galactic stage of being part of the galactic community. But with that out of the way, that small explanation trip, let's head to Menu, or Mene, and try to rescue the Tyrion Primarch. Palawan's largest moon has been shrouded in secrecy since the dawn of the Tyrion Space Age. During the Krogan Rebellion, the hierarchy classified nearly all data on, on Mene and its sister moon Nanus because they feared the Krogan used the moons as weapons by smashing them into Palawan's surface. Jesus Christ. 
However, some information has leaked out. Images of Ethereum bases where personal walk without environments to indicate advanced infrastructure, likely a network of subterranean tunnels with powerful mass effect fuel generators that retain heat and atmosphere always swaths off the surface. The Reaper's plans for bombarding the base were met with fierce resistance by the Ethereum fleet and the moon's anti-aerospace defenses. With their easy victory stalled, the Reapers deployed a variety of ground units to take the bases one at a time. The Ethereans have the advantage on the moon, but the Reapers have the patience to slowly grind them down. With every base captured, the Reapers deny the Ethereum fleet another place to repair or refuel. A lot of classified information, but let's go down there. It's probably a hell show. As always, currently only Liara and James are available, so we're going to select both of them. And now I can showcase the weapon or the sidearm that I chose. We're going to keep this the same. So I went with the Flalux, uh, which is currently level 7, I believe. Shoots a lot faster than any of the other guns. Uh, I don't want to use the Eagle, which is actually the upgraded version of the Flanax, but because this is fully auto, I, it's a pistol machine gun, so... Um, and the Predator just looks weak, uh, has a bit less damage, so the Phoenix, and I tested it out, you can really spam it hard, and I also like how it has blue text, uh, and it sort of matches the color scheme of the M99 Sabre. With that in mind though, uh, let's head to the surface, okay, another screen, uh, levels, don't think we have anything new, so we're just going to keep it the way it is, and let's now head to the surface of this Palavan moon. That is a lot of ships. God damn! That cruiser got wrecked. Jesus Christ, that is a massive space fight. But we're not heading there. We're heading to the moon. Which also appears to have its own share of fighting. getting decimated yeah the strongest military in the galaxy and the reapers are obliterating it was Fuck it sake. like this on earth yes shepherd i'm so sorry it's not your fault commander the lc's getting swarmed James, really open that hatch let's bring down some heat come on clear the landing zone Anything else? Well, that was easy. Get in, get out. Let's move. More? What's up? Let's pop a save. Soldier, which way to your commanding officer? Trying to head around the corner, past the first barricade. All right, Roger that. Thank you. What's this? Spare parts. This way. Thank you. Jesus, look at this thing. My God, fucking huge. Oh, we knew that already, but. No, I'm not even static. Man. The reinforcements have arrived. 
Grand report, knowledge of the Terrain is our only advantage here and that's not going to last forever if they keep drawing their forces at us. We'll hold this air as long as we can. I'm linking my transporter to the life signal when it uses multi suits. If it goes out, send another unit here ASAP. Okay. We can pick up a Viper. Data bad. It's cr just credits. Nothing here. Just looking for stuff to interact with. Data bads. Possible loot. Love their bodies though, which is not nice to see. Pistol piercing boy. She put that on there. Talking about getting more fighters in the air. No, we checked that one already. Sorry, my bad. Make it. Data bad. They sent us winter gear. Not sure what they thought we'd do with that kind of gear here, but I suppose we should tank the spirits nonetheless. The power sources can be cannibalized and converted to power our combat gears, failing units instead, at least. Be nice not to have those clogging up anymore. They're really struggling out here, aren't they? This appears to be. I can't go up there yet. What else is here? Nothing? Okay. I assume we have to talk to the commanding officer, which. Based on the chatter I hear, Tibet. is this guy here. Get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Bardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. No General. questions asked. Damn. Commander Shepard, heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. My pleasure. Get Primark Fedorian. There appears to be a problem. Primark Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. Fuck. That's gonna complicate things. Definitely. How are the things here on the name? General. We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. Ah? We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy. Just... Irrelevant. Yeah. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. God damn. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. Sorry for your loss. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? Shame to hear. The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Hmm. Right. General Corinthus. With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, right. At the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. So we fix it? Tasks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Time Thank straight. You, I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. Wait, that's not my weapon. Interesting glitch, <laughs> but that will probably happen most of the time. To the left of the main barricade in front of Palamon. Let's go. But to the left of the barricade, so not this way. No, okay. Still need to orientate myself, but like I said, some cutscenes will probably have a wrong gun in our hands, but that's okay. It's, you can't possibly. Sometimes the cutscenes are pre-made. What's this? Assault rifle piercing mod. I'll put that on actually. I think we can use that. So. Let's run back to this um, table, which I believe was here, and mod this. So Alice Bruce Prius me to thick objects, but that reduce damage, ignores its defense on all my targets. So essentially, this means that we can shoot through the bastard Cerberus shield things whenever we encounter them again. But all right, oh, got stuck on that side. Combat roll, and let's go out there. All right, let's rip. Thank you. I didn't see anyone yet though. I saw a name tag somewhere. Oh, let's do this. I love this gun. Anyone else? Nope. Okay. That was a bit easy.
We can't repair it from this panel. Fuck. Uh, James, James, go up there. You're up for tower repair. On it. Might take me a while, but I'll do my best. You got it. Don't worry. Here they come. Ready, Liara? You bet. Let's take these monsters. Like shooting fish in a barrel. Nice to hear, James. This is friendly, I think. And just to show you how the pistol works. Coming down. All right, clear. Ooh, landed straight on the. How did it miss? Nice shot, Liara. Yeah, was it? All right. We'll come back. Looks like our weapon one shots everything at the moment, so it's it's a bit of a cakewalk, but it is, you know, not fully automatic, so if you miss, you do pay the price if you let them get too close. All right, what is it? What have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple, but right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. Fuck. I need someone, I don't care who, as long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. Yeah, that's true. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Wait. Garrus? Garrus? Hell Vicarian, yeah! Sir. I didn't see you Vicarian, arrive. sir? At ease, General. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm advising. I see. Makes sense. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Damn straight. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. Old General friends united. This filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. All right. Just, his name's crossed my desk. Really? You know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Oh. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. I see. Not so popular with military command. Has a ah. reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. Playing loose? What does that mean? On Tetris during the uprisings. His squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Okay. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the rebels took. Right. Then the rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. What's wrong with that? But wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Oh, who gives a fuck about that? That should be something to see. He he got things done, didn't he? Didn't get the job done. We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot, and I trust him. Fair enough. Let's okay. go get him. Let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander, Shepard, come in. What's wrong? Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. Exactly. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed, shutting down systems, powering up weapons. Huh? I can't find the That's not good. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Sure, Do go it. for it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. God damn we're it, nothing's ever easy. 
Incoming harvester, headed for the airfield. What the fuck is that? General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. Hell yeah, let's go. Wait, where did it drop things off? Airfield. This way. Are you breathing so hard? That atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, is all. <laughs> Adrenaline's better than oxygen, eh? What's a marauder? They look like Turians, no? Just me? What do those reapers look like Turians? Yeah, I was just saying that. Actually, I'm not using any enhanced ammo. I probably should. Just take my time to take shots. No need to peek. What's up with my eyes? Why am I so... <laughs> I look possessed. Oh, I missed. Moving on forwards. Got him. What? I know the Marauder has shields, but I don't really care. Oh, this guy's close. Okay, they're getting ghost close. There we go. The visual recoil is absolutely insane, but we'll deal with that. I think we're done here. Yep. Yeah. Let's just go pick up some ammo. Okay, ammo is full. Cool. Uh, let's actually go into squad and give Garrus his share of powers because we can. So here we get we weapon damage or increased shield. I think for him, increased power, assault rifle damage, and then sniper rifle. Hmm. Squad made power, and then just do alter level. Confirm that, and then head back to wherever we need to go, which is uh, back to General Corinthus. Shepard, come in. Yeah, what's up? Still trying to raise the Primark, but we've got trouble back here at the main barricade. Fuck! Oh yeah, I can see that. We're done. On my way. What's this thing? Hell yeah! James seems to be enjoying it. Okay, come on. I mean, husks aren't really that scary unless they get close. Wait, Gareth doesn't know that? Come on then. Don't let them climb the walls. So many husks though, my god. Wait, what the fuck is this thing? Holy hell! What is that thing? Is that an Elcor? A wag or whatever the Shadow Broker was? Yikes! It's down. Got him. Oh, 
All right, what's up? Talk to me. Word of the Primarch. Still can't get a stable comm link. Fuck's okay. sake. I'm going on foot. Shepherd out. Garrus, take me to the last place you saw Victus. Like that, huh? Okay. Let's go then. Through a nice stroll. How far? In the park. Pretty quick, unless we find trouble. All right. Let's keep our eyes open then. Damn, look at this view. Man, how many people? Oh my god. Would you look at that? I mesmerizing. Holy crap. Those fighters aren't even making a dent. Yep. Unfortunately. Are you moonwalking guys? So uh, no, he's he's okay. Yeah. The big. That's where I was born. That's rock. rock. Still have family there? My dad. A sister. How no. Bad is it? Three million lost the first day. Five the second. How's your no. military holding up? Look around. That should give you some idea. Not very well then. For now, That's true. But how long did it take before the fight's kicked out? If they'd only listen to your warnings about the Reapers. Might have been ready. Maybe. Yeah, I imagine. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. That's also a fair point. That is a very dreadful sight, isn't it? All right, let's keep it moving then. It appears to be a base in front of us. Everyone's a brave soul who's taking part of this fight. That, that thing's going crazy. Got more back so here. Oh, what? There's actually switched to the cryo ambo. Shit, I hate those things. You do? Crawling with the creepy bastards? I never should have left Earth. It's okay, James. It's gonna be bad all over. Exactly. Leaving the fight just pisses me off. But you're here asking Victus to do the same thing. Leave yeah, I imagine. Make nice in some boardroom. This summit is the only chance we've got. None of us yep. is beating the Reapers alone. That's the fact. Right, we almost there, Gareth. So what's going on? I'm walking slowly, by the way, because I don't want to miss any dialogues that certain locations trigger. Oh, crashed fighter. Another harvester. Soldier, you okay? Yes, sir. We'll make it. Have you seen General Victus? Half hour ago. Himself. Okay, go up. Yes, sir. Thank you. Wait, what happened? Troops in that crash. Fifty. Seventy-five. Not sure. Sounds right. Hard to see a beautiful ship like that go down. Wait, did it take another frigate down? Yeah. Yeah. We should go. They said the Primarch was headed south. Fucking hell, man. Okay, let's double time it. Oh, fuck! That was a little closer than I'd like. I'll say. Is he, is he okay? Can we help? I guess it's not of our business. We have a different mission to do. And the, the music, the atmosphere is absolutely incredible. It's not a positive one. You really think oh. some will work? I mean, Asari? Salarians? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? Batarians are dead. Easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. Yeah, exactly. The Krogan have never forgiven us for the genophage. Right. Yeah, that too. Turians sterilized them. Salarians came up with it. And the Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with a the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I 100% agree with... I mean, Rex might be, but maybe the rest of the Krogan it will be a different sort of thing to convince. Man, it's, it's just... This is incredible, the atmosphere. Just makes me... Reminds me again why I love Mass Effect so much. 
and why Mass Effect 3 is actually that good of a game. I just wish that there would be a Mass Effect TV series or a movie so that a wider audience could see all of this. I think we're almost there. It's been a while without any contact, so... Oh. That sounds bad! Okay, double time! Yep. No Reaper's taking this Primark from me! Right behind you! Damn straight. Ayo! Hey, oh fuck, there's a lot of them. I missed, I missed, I missed again. <laughs> That's not good. I don't one shot these guys. Granatu! Boom! He's dead. Woo! Damn! I mean, Evictus is alive at least. Oh. Getting shot from the side, but I don't care. Take the Brutal. Turn up the heat! Hell yeah. Oh, this weapon's so good. Alright, what are you doing, son? What? Where the hell did you teleport? Is that it? Looks like it. General Victus? Yes? I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Not Commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Oh. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate <laughs> it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will yep. take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Well, I got something important for you. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. Yep. It is what it is. That's exactly how it sounds. Damn. I'm Primarch of Palavan. Negotiating for the Turian hierarchy? Yes. Yes. Exactly. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. Me too, buddy. What makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by-the-book kind of guy, and I piss people off. <laughs> I've been in the military since the Unification War. War is my life. It's in my bones. But that kind of passion is deceptive. It can make you seem reckless when you're anything but. Well, I, I personally think you sound War like the perfect guy. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. Exactly. That, you're right. And honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. Another truth. This devastation, Primarch, double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Okay, what's up then? Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Without Is that a yes? Him, there's a good chance we lose this move. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Yeah. Like that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? <laughs> the officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? I hear you, Garrus. This thing, Shepard. Yeah, I don't know, Garrus, but I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. Exactly. What else can you do? Nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, 
I'm with you. Hell yeah. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Prime Mark Victus? <laughs> that title is probably gonna need some time to settle in. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan. That's a tall that's a order. Tall order. Bruh. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan. Right. Looks like the summit just got a lot more interesting. Definitely, that's one way of putting it. But it's progress. At least we got the Primark, so he can't be killed if he's on the Normandy. Right? The Asari have been down this road before, Commander Shepard. But Madam Counselor, let me... I tried to smooth things over with the Salarian Dalatras. To say she's upset would be a monumental understatement. Some Great. Of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Exactly. To say, but any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure Fuck's you sake. understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking at our door. This yeah, must of be course. My final word. I'm sorry, but the Asari will not be at your summit. Our alliance would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. I wish exactly. you luck, Commander. Goodbye. Oh, bon off. System love. Fall of Hades Gamma. Wait, what? That's not good. Well, let's talk to Hackett then, I guess. Commander, have you retrieved the Primark for your summit? Yes, yep. sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret Unfortunately. That. The time for unity is now. The Solarians I agree. There, you don't sound very optimistic. We nope. expect the Krogan will be joining us too. I see. Well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. <laughs> something else you needed to discuss? Uh, the attack on Earth? We pieced together how the Reapers hit Earth. It wasn't all that complicated, really. They surged through the relays and hit Arturus Station before we knew what was happening. From there right. was a short jump to the Sol system. Earth didn't stand a chance. Glad we went to Mars, though. The Mars Archives was a good call. Still doesn't make up for the fact that the Reapers nailed us to the wall. I sacrificed hmm. the entire second fleet to provide cover for the third and the fifth to retreat. Fuck. And I presided over the most devastating military defeat in human history. That's true. How do you it will also be the this war, Admiral? biggest victory. You the tip of the spear. Oh? I'm flattered, but the Normandy is just one ship. Exactly. And a fast one. You can move quickly, hit a target, and leave before the enemy has time to react. That is a battle, though, and doesn't win us it's the war. Advantage, but can it win a war? It's the larger principle that matters. We'll never defeat the Reapers in a full frontal assault, Shepard. Yeah, I hear that. Sovereign three years ago took everything we had, and that was just one Reaper. I haven't mm -hmm. forgotten. So exactly. So find their soft spots, avoid them where they're strong, and hit them where they're not. And when I find gaps in the armor, I'll hammer them with every soldier, ship, and bullet we've got. I like the sound of that. Will we that enough? We keep that up. As long as it takes. The reality is, Shepard, everything I'm doing is a delaying action for you. I'm hmm. buying us time, keeping us in the game while you gather what we need for this Prothean device. So right, okay. It. Will do. Has your analysis of the Prothean device turned up anything? Speaking of the device. Be right. It's a weapon of some sort. A big one. Beyond okay. That, I can't say other than it's going to be a hell of a thing to try and build. And the risks. It's risky building something like this when we don't even know what it does. To be honest, the thing scares the hell out of me, but the Reapers have forced our hand. Two True enough. Two centuries ago, scientists faced the same problem in the Second World War. They weren't sure what the atomic bomb might do. Some Tell me about it. Some even ignite Earth's atmosphere, but they did it anyway. Hmm. <laughs> Imagine if it did. Fuck. Cerberus. The on Cerberus? There's still the wild card here. Hitting the archives on Mars suggests they're after the same thing we are. A way to defeat the Reapers. It but in a different way. The elusive man was suggesting we appease them. Not like Saren did. You'd think we'd be on the same side now more than ever. Cerberus you think? never played by the rules as we know them. I don't yeah, know good what point. their agenda is, but it has nothing to do with humanity's best interests. <laughs> Alright. 
think he wants to control the them, though. man talked about controlling the Reapers. He seemed to think that's how we win this. It's wrong. Dead Reapers are how we win this. Doesn't Damn straight. Won't try. I saw your report on that Unfortunately. you found on Mars. If the elusive man is good at one thing, it's finding new ways to subvert science. It's never worked for him before, and it won't now. I trust you on that. More, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Will do. All right, so war terminal. Let's take a look at this alliance. So I think we got something new, Eighth Fleet, which is just update a Reaper force attack. The Hades Gamma class Eighth Fleet committed itself to its conventional hit and run attacks, resuming back on during Kelpovich. Fleet was caught in an ambush and was largely wiped out. <sighs> Shit! So we lost some. And special, so we got Tyrion Special Forces and Project Phoenix Defectors. That's good to see. Tyrion. So we got the 9 Flotilla. Good to know. And Industrial Minor Colonial Support. There's an update. Like I said, we lost some support because of the Hades Gilmer Cluster we lost. Let's talk to Victus then. Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship. And for going along with this plan. Gareth what choice do I have? The Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. Of course. Sounds like Garrus. Yeah. I'm sorry to say the Asari counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right. But there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood. If we don't try. We yeah, I hear you. Way. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? Yeah, I just came to chat, really. I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. Nice to hear. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If Oof. I die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I hear you. I can relate. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never oh? asked to be a leader, yet your people will die if you refuse. We That's one way of putting it. similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. I hope so. Our What's the situation in Palavin? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers hmm. are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. Yeah. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. 50,000 years? My civilization. Right, well, nothing Thank you, more. Primark. My thoughts are with Palavin. And mine with Earth. That's a nice saying. Okay. Um, that's the comm room. Okay, so this is the way out. We got some Turian people on board. Oh, the fuck? Edie? What do you mean offline? I don't know. Tell me about it. Fuck's sake. Yeah, okay, let's do that then. I'm trying to restart the systems, but something's blocking me. Whatever's happening, it's taken Edie. See if you can get to Edie. I'll check the AI core. All right. Okay, so I guess we have to go to the AI core. There's no other option. Thought I could talk to Garrus and other people before we actually do this, but guess not. Let's check on Edie then. Hope she's okay. Is everything okay? That's what I'm gonna find. I out. hope so. What's this then? Systems have the fires contained. It should be safe to enter. We'll follow your lead. All right, Adams, I'm going in. What's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something. Huh? What's the reading saying? I'm going in. All right. Thanks for that, Adams. 
Edie, talk to me. Did that work? Did you just wake up to that? What? Is there the... a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Huh? Edie. Yes. You're huh? in Dr. Eva's body. Not yep. all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. Tell me about it. Wait, what exactly is happening though? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This okay. eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Shit. I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus the fire. That was kind of dangerous, you no? Need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. I see. Fair enough, I guess. So if you're in there. Are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning right. to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean okay. You could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Jeez, we can I'll do that. Tell you when I need it. Excellent. I will run tests to ensure that it matches or exceeds the capabilities of organic squad mates. Ha, <laughs> you wish. My first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew's a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An yep. excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. <laughs> On that, we can agree. Yeah. Okay, then. That's, um, something you don't see every day. Was that Edie who just walked by? Yep. Yes, it was. And Joker is going to have a field day with this. That's one way of putting it. Good to know. Okay, well, let's go and check up on Garrus, then see if Liara has anything new. Um, then head up, talk to Trainer and Joker, uh, and Edie, and then down to the armory. Seeing the same numbers myself, they don't look like, where is he? We have to turn this around and fast. Well, you can trust Shepard, sir. If anybody can get the Krogan to cooperate, it's her. She's an old friend of Erdnot Rex. Let's just hope friendship still counts for something in this war. Surely I'm it sure would. Sure, it will, sir. Well, um, this is Garrus's actually casual outfit. Normally, he'd be wearing the armor. But because of the mods have installed, he's actually wearing more casual, casual clothing. Turian casual clothing. Garrus, didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. After yeah. what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me time <laughs> to focus. <laughs> Fair enough. You for more than your aim. Oh, True I'm enough. Ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns, and lots of them. Sovereign yep. didn't go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Still not Probably. convinced I should have left Palavin behind. I can relate. There was a boy back on Earth. Couldn't have been more than six or seven. Oh yeah, we had a nightmare about him. I watched him die as the Normandy escaped the attack. Fuck. Somehow I'm still alive. And he's not. Being right about the Reapers has never felt much like a victory, has it? Nope. We both knew this fight would be tough. Damned if the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Or pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So, oh, really? Expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> not that they'll actually do anything about it. No, of course Until not. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. Yeah, I mean... We're actually respectable now. Well, it won't be easy. Yeah. 
I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even True enough. how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember. Yeah. A certain Turian friend of yours isn't sleeping any better, and he'd be more than happy to meet you at the bar and drink <laughs> on the table. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Something I'm down. You uh, your family. You still had family on Palavan. My father is there. Sister too. How long yeah. has it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. Fuck. Don't worry so though. They're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get just as old. What about Oof. any word from your family? My mother's in the Alliance. Haven't heard from her since Earth got hit. I'm yep. sure sh she's okay. I hope so. Actually, that is a good point from Garris. We have the background, the spacer background, which means we do actually have parents. And I think at one point we'll get a chance to talk to her, but she is a character that's sort of illuminous and not really there. Um, I think there is a chance to talk to her in the first game, but just through a voice message. Um, if you get some certain side mission on the Citadel, which we didn't do because I didn't think it would be worth it uh, to scram around on the Citadel for that long in the first game, but we'll get a chance to talk to her in this game if I remember correctly. Our chances of winning? You don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first nice time to hear. we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead I guess. Questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. Probably, but no doubt. After what's happened to Palavan, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just right. one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. In this war, Oof. that's not going to happen. Yeah, probably not. Garrus's task force. What's the Reaper task force you've been running? After what happened to you out there in Batarian space, I knew time was running out for all of us. The Citadel right. Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. He all right. He was for C didn't he? I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. Yeah. Put it mildly, but <laughs> okay. still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one, was a friend. Right. Of so I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector Base. Makes hell of a story, no? Even I'd believe it. I had to admit that parts of it sounded crazy. Meeting Vigil, talking to Sovereign on Vermeer, but my father just listened. It's what he did in his days at CSEC, putting together all the pieces. If I the see. Connections were there. He wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. I'm glad Shit. someone finally agreed. <laughs> he did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I well, see. I style. Except Hell the Primarch yeah. wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And hmm. if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. Any what results? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. Oh. We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it Sounds I nice. I think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. All right. And about Victus? So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. True. You live up to his word. I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. Then if All right, good to hear. Well, we'll just find another Primarch. <laughs> Could it be Thanks you? General saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of secession are you these days? <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavan when this is over. Yeah, True point. somebody who knows how to hold a hammer. <laughs> That's all for now, guys. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. It's damn good to have you back. Would exactly. Would fight for anything? Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Yeah, continue calibrating that giant gun. It's gonna need it.
We are definitely gonna need it. Alright, let's check on Liara. And maybe we have some new... You're positive you don't want to come over and talk. No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Aww. Garris? I'll be fine, Liara. Just gathering some thoughts. Alright. Yeah, Liara at the moment appears to be the most fine in terms of how the race is doing. Asari seemed to be holding up better than anyone else, as far as I'm concerned. Right. Oh, there, there are not, no upgrades. Interesting. Alliance Interior Service Operative. She's awake. Until hello, do you know where you are? You know how much good done trouble. Hey, is that person you're in trouble? I'm not going to lie. Explosion. You okay? She's dead. What? The whole front of her face is gone. Some kind of ugly flashback? Oh shit, is everyone's service rigged up like that? Damn. Interior service operating, she just explodes? Something on your mind? Just old memories. I spent really? a few weeks on Palavin South Peaks when I was very, very young. A Turian there teased me a little, saying that the mountains went on forever. I remember believing him. When Aww. I looked up at Palavin from its moon, I saw those same mountains burning. Shit. Feel free to look around. Anything else? Feel free to look around. Nope. Okay. Right, we're 56 minutes in, so very long episode this will be. Um, but I saw it pop up in, in the bottom right, suggesting that we had something, but... Good to see you, Commander. I guess not. Okay. Let's, um... Head upstairs, then. Talk to Drainer and then Joker. Um, it'll be a long episode. All of these will be. Commander, Let's... I found something suspicious. Have you got a minute? Yeah, sure. What's up? Commander, are you alright? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I'm, I'm a soldier. I'm concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. Of course you would have. Conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. <coughs> One Bruh. here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom okay. Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. We know that place. They're still open, though? The war would close most schools. Grissom yeah, tell me about it. It's more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their yeah. ascension project is the best training facility in the galaxy for human biotics. Mm -hmm. Send a young man named David Archer there. I'm just surprised they're still open. Some exactly. Of work has alliance support. That might be why they stayed. Okay, are they in what trouble? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call. So normally, I'd say we don't need to do anything. A Turian. Something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. Ah. Uh... Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship. Yep. Long story. In exactly. Moment, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy is being evacuated, but I believe they're still in danger. Nice work. Catch. Put it on the map. Adding it now, Commander. We're gonna head there sooner or later. Commander. Uh, maybe in the next episode, maybe in the episode after that. 58 minutes, oh, that's, that's odd. Um, but I expect Joker's gonna be absolutely over the moon. Hey Commander, check out my co-pilot! <laughs> Did you know about this? She installed herself into the new body without any help from you. Come on, Commander. Don't you trust me? Okay, hmm. let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was going to install herself into a sexy robot body, do okay, you he went think there. I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look yeah, fair point. I would have baked a cake. <laughs> Fuck's here. sake. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. Bruh. Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. There's a whole lot of crap out there. Needs a bullet between the eyes. Plus, we might need something calibrated. <laughs> Fucking calibration jokes. Commander is what? Commander. Yeah, okay, let's talk to Edie. Hello, Shepard. 
still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. Okay, I she's what a flex. Arms and legs. I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions. If I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears adequate. That's I not see. What I'd use to describe you. Oh, come on, Perhaps Joker. Should speak privately. Stop being horny. I'll be over here, flying the ship. <laughs> What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Okay. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Yeah, I think so, except good judgment. Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking Damn about straight. something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jack right. removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I, asked I hear him you. I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer. Correct. Hmm. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? You choose your own path. Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But exactly. moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very yeah, well. sure. I will keep you informed. Okay, well, with that out of the way... Oh, that's the wrong way. Uh, let's check our emails, because I can see it's flashing with something. Commander, do you have a message from Major Elenko? He must be feeling better. Oh, from Al from Caden, that's good. Um, fuck, there's a lot. Council Udina. Beckenstein negotiations. Shepard, I've been rentless and getting support from our colonies. Beckenstein has been particularly difficult. The government is refusing all of our requests for aid. Ba bastards aren't even willing to take in refugees from Earth. Normally, I would consider them a temporary nonsense and move on to more accepting colonies, but their military industrial support is just too vital to ignore. I'm still putting pressure on them to cooperate, but a person who visit from you might just tip the balance. They think producing weapons to, for our fleets will make them a likely target for the Reapers. That is true. They're not wrong about that. I need to reassure them that what's good for us is good for them. Come let me when you're ready, and I'll arrange for my negotiation team to meet you there. Uh, okay, we're not ready for now, so I won't acknowledge it, but we'll do that in the next episode. But I don't want to straight up lie to them. Omega, come see me. Arya Talok, Shepard, I have something important to discuss with you. It's sensitive, so we need to pri need privacy. Okay, interesting area. still think I'm on her good side, I guess. <laughs> uh, purgatory, a few ideas for your war. Okay. Right, same message. Nuaro Tanner, Shepard, I've, I've called and I've sent this message because there's one with SCOM systems out. I don't expect this will get through either, but I heard a rumor of the Norwegian doc here. Are you here? I would quote them where we're mostly under the name Tanner Nuara. Please excuse the moniker and this email's encryption in my line of work is unwise to advertise location, particularly when I'm not in good health. Oh, it's from Thane. Thane's on the Citadel. Fuck. We gotta go and see him then. Spectre Bow, help request it. My name is John Bow, with Tactical Special Tanks Recon, another fake Spectre, if this is a real one. Uh, well, some will have concerns about your past activity servers, many of us in the SD and R took your warnings about the Reapers seriously. I'm reaching out to you because I have information that could tie agents which take your political powers to the Reapers. Okay, if you have time to meet me in the Citadel Embassy, I'd appreciate your discreet assistance. Sincerely, Jordan Bow, SDG. Okay, Phoenix Project, Missiles reports are surprisingly successful. Even among non-human audiences, we even have a large container of early stage Phoenix Biotics defect to the lines of screening and advertising has been thorough and as far as we can tell we have excluded any with exposure to Reaper tech from this project. On Admiral Hacker suggestions, the remainder have been posted to the SSV Isaac Newton. That's good to hear. Biggest few problems with the ensign operating on Earth and it appears that an ICT training facility in Brazil is still standing. Oh damn, they were able to 
keep the QEC connection stable for a few seconds, but there was enough to transmit some relevant information. Looks like more instant class operators are there, attempting to hold the station. We could definitely use these soldiers, but right now they're stranded. Personal records from the station indicate the presence of a destroyer, specialist fury biotics and shadow infiltrators, all of whom deadly and effective against reapers. I can't stress this enough, the importance for ongoing special operations. With your IFE transmitter and stealth ability, the Roland is the only, only alliance vessel capable of even attempting such a rescue with this level of risk. The Reaper's presence on Earth remains heavy, and local resistance is too pinned down to even think about assisting. If the Reaper spot you, just get the hell out of there. Good luck. Okay, um, I won't pick that up yet. We'll do that in the next episode from Admiral Hackett. Talk to Garrett Bryson. You need to meet with him right away. Okay. Um... Uh, Primark is sending a group of his veteran space to work along hours. It is believed that training techniques and experience finding together will improve for the teams. We flee retain our chain of command, but will now be contacted up in both here and during space. It seems that being on board the Normandy is showing the joint species ops work. Like the idea, the more boost on the ground, the better. The political health is maintained in relation to the military. Okay. Kalenko, hey commander, thought. Uh, through some combination of medical miracle and dumb luck, it looks like I'll survive what happened on Mars. Dr. Sam still got not ready to be released, but I've gotten the green light for visitors. It'd be good to see you if you can spare the time, of course. Council, do you know from me to make a spectre? Still thinking about whether or not I should accept. Stop by my room at the hospital next time you're on the Citadel. I'd like to talk. Or oh, your advice, Caden. Okay. Spectre terminal, nothing there. And equipment manifest, nothing here. Crew manifest. Let's actually view non-specialists uh, additional squad non okay uh, detachment strength minimal select a lieutenant to recruit additional marines okay so we'll have to take a look at that but the, the episode is really getting longer and longer so I don't want to drown it out any longer so let's head to engineering What's going on here? Research department for that. They focus test looks, voice, manner. Apparently, what? Really is good. Sorry, pay more attention. Salarians relate to high-pitched voices. And Turians? Turians are nuts. A civilization of war nerds. Loyal viewers, but they write the creepiest fan mail. <laughs> okay. Who's Mick was that? She has got some curves. <laughs> yeah, that's Edie. Uncheckled AI. Let's see if there's anything new here. Close range survival. Okay. I don't know what that will do, but sure. Yeah, why the fuck not? Give me that shit. Alright, what's this? Commander. Okay. Adams is nothing new to us. And how much do you guys want to bet that when we go down to Shadow Bay, that it might just crash? Oh, we're fine. Okay. Ma'am. Nothing from him. Let's see if there's anything new in the shops. Just battle shoots armor, stuff that I don't really want to wear. Oh wow, the Mako. No, we don't. We we have the hammerhead. And James? That Primark's got some real cojones. Tell well, we me. Need more politicians like him taking names and kicking ass. <laughs> hey. Big cojones. Yeah, it's big balls. I think, if I'm not mistaken. Spectre requisitions. Same stuff. Certo. Medical capacity. Sure, we'll buy that. That's fine by me. Where's the... Um, Claymore. Widow, Valiant, Harrier. Okay, so we can't upgrade the pistol further, but anyway.
been a very long episode, a very eventful one, for sure. I think cramming all of that crew talk into the end of this episode means that next episode we're free to do other stuff and we will most likely uh, go and try to evacuate Ensofen forces from Earth. We'll also head to Eden Prime and maybe do the, uh, which is something that we've been alerted to earlier in this place play, and then we'll also do um, the Beckenstein talking, but I think we'll be honest to them, I don't want to lie on Adina's behalf, because obviously if you produce weapons for this war, you're going to be a target of Reapers, that is common sense. But anyway, if you did enjoy this episode, do leave a like, and I hope to see you in the next one. I'll see you when I see you.